Okay, guys, round three. I'm back here with another battle from the tournament uh, that was here in Kaye, uh on Saturday. And this one is the third round. Uh, I was put up against Zek. I can't remember his real name. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but Zek was pretty... He was. His team was very intimidating to me because... Just about every Pokemon on the team resisted ice, so I was like, oh man, this is going to be rough. <laughs> Super rough. Plus, he's got his own uh, weather there um, with Tyranitar, if you notice. And it's it, it was kind of funny, because uh, I went with a friend of mine to the event, and after the match, uh, when we were talking uh, while waiting for the next round, uh, he was telling me, he was like, man, dude, like I was... I was so worried. I knew this fight was going to be rough for you because, of, just because of the way that um, that Zek took out his 3DS, the way he took it out was like, and I was, you know, I agreed with him. It was funny because uh, the Zek he had his 3DS in like this case, in the, like in this case, like it was protected. It was really cool, and he like he like he sat down and he just calmly opened it up. And it was almost like you could hear like the uh, the music when Link uh, opens up a chest, like do 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 do. Like I was kind of I don't know, <laughs> it was funny. Uh, and he you know he took out his 3ds and he opened it up and he turned it on all calm. Like it was really like I don't know like kind of intimidating. It was kind of cool. But um, anyway, his his entire team was just it resisted ice pretty much. I I don't remember what the other two was, but uh, I was well anyway. Let's just uh, get to the match. Zek was a pretty good, cool guy. Um, pretty quiet, too, but, uh, you know, he, he did well. So uh, let's get to the good stuff here. All right. So there's Zek. And Zek surprised me here because he actually led with Garchomp. And I was like, he actually brought Garchomp? My entire team is ice, and he brought Garchomp. I was like, all right. I guess he's expecting to just rock slide the crap out of everybody. Um, but he actually uses Garchomp pretty smart because, uh, you know, I, I led with Obama Snow, uh, with Elsa and Articuno. Uh, and he's got a nice uh, Intimidate off, which sucks because my Obama Snow is physical. So my attack is going to be weaker now. But he kind of like baited with Garchomp. Like he, he expected a Blizzard and he switched into Tyranitar. And that was brilliant because it's going to change my weather. Um, if I wasn't uh, packing uh, a Mega Obama Snow, that would have screwed me over right there. Uh, but luckily, I do have the Mega, so I do Digivolve here, and uh, Elsa is going to bring back the weather for me. So uh, I don't know if he was trying to do the same thing I was in the first round, um, trying to, you know, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, he goes Mega too. He Digivolves uh, his Small Wild, and that thing is scary. I. I'm so scared of it. It's got sheer force, I think, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, no, it's got huge power or something like that, which makes his attack like lethal. So he sets up, he gets protect up, which is smart uh, because I actually go for the earthquake here. So um, Mawile is protected. Uh, Tyranitar gets the big, uh, the brunt of the hit though. Uh, and plus we uh, we got the tailwind up, so uh, Garchomp's speed isn't going to be a problem for us because Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp's got great stats all around, um, so he, even though he's super weak to my team, he still scares me if I don't have the Tailwind up, uh, but now with the Tailwind, I'm not too worried about Garchomp. Uh, he goes for a Fire Blast, which surprised me, I was expecting Tyranitar to be physical, but uh, uh, one of the players was telling me that uh, Special Tyranitar is actually quite common in BGC, and I was not aware of that, I thought... Tyranitar was usually physical like, all the time. I, I have Tyranitar and I run him physical. But anyway, um, his Mega Marwa goes for an Iron Head on my Articuno, and I only survived it because of the Reflect. If the Reflect wasn't there, I would have been done for. He goes for a good Sucker Punch here, and that was smart, because I send him my Zack, uh, the Mammoth Swan, and I'm just going to go for a nice Earthquake after the Blizzard. And there it goes. And that was enough to take them both out. So that's great. We took out both of his Pokemon uh, right there. Those are two big threats to my team, and they're both down. So that's great. We're doing well. 
Uh, Zack is actually a reference from the Power Rangers, if you don't understand the name. Uh, Zack was the Black Ranger in a Mastodon! I don't know if you get the reference, but I thought it was neat. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, I have my Obama's on oh, my Obama's on my article. Go for another blizzard. Garchomp is obviously gonna go down. There's no way he could survive a blizzard unless he's got a Yachty Berry, and even that is pretty. If it was a maybe an icy wind, he could survive it, but uh, no. But anyway, I follow up with Earthquake, and Ferrothorn's got great defense, so he took it. Gets a nice power whip off of my uh, Mammoth Swine there, and Zach goes down in one hit. Sadly, I'm weak to grass, so that sucks. So Ferrothorn. Yeah, he's a pretty big threat too. He's, he's grass and steel. He's got a super big weakness to fire, but I'm not packing any heat. But I am packing lots of ice, and uh, nice ice is neutral. Only, so uh, we just finish him off with a nice blizzard there, and Ferrothorn is down. So that was it, Zek. Uh, we took him down. That was a, an awesome battle. Good game. Um. Yeah, so, I mean, he was, he really had me worried there. When I saw his team, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose this so bad. But uh, we, we luckily, we, we got lucky. We pulled through. Uh, we were able to uh, handle the situation. Uh, but, man, like, every single battle, as it kept going towards the end, it, ke it keeps getting more and more, like, rough. I'm like, oh my goodness, these people are, like, really good. I was I was really impressed with all these, uh, com all the, com uh, all the, you know, combatants. But anyway, I guess that's the end of this round. Um, round four is coming up. So, you know, I hope you guys watch it.